pineapple quinoa stir fry with a peanut dressing that is simple enough to make on a weeknight and perfect for taking leftovers in your lunch the next day. Hello, I'm Catherine. This recipe has been on our blog for a while now, but we recently remade it and decided that it was video worthy. So you can make this with fresh pineapple or frozen. You can grill the pineapple or you can just toss it in at the end for a really quick preparation. And if your quinoa is pre-cooked, you can easily make this in about 15 minutes. But since quinoa is pretty quick to cook anyway, I'm going to walk you through the whole process. This recipe calls for five cups quinoa. And if you've never used quinoa before, it's classified as a whole grain, but it's actually a seed. And for that reason, it's a great source of protein. And one and a half cups of raw quinoa will swell to five cups cooked. Today I'm using white quinoa, but when we took the photos for this recipe, we had tricolor quinoa, which is a pretty blend of red, white, and black. They're all nutritionally similar, so use whatever color you have access to. The cooking instructions for this brand call for one cup quinoa to two cups water, and here's a little tip. Add one and a half cup raw quinoa to a medium pot and toast the quinoa for about three minutes, stirring frequently. This isn't entirely necessary, but it's a small way to boost up the flavor of your quinoa. Once the quinoa has toasted, carefully add three cups water. Bring to a boil, reduce the heat, and simmer for about 15 minutes with the lid on until the water has been absorbed and the quinoa is cooked. While that's cooking, you can get started on your pineapple. And I'm gonna grill a few pieces just for a fancy garnish, but remember that you can add pineapple just to the very end of this recipe. And if you wanna do everything in one pan, but still get a little bit of color on the pineapple, then just add the pineapple chunks to the hot pan to start with a little bit of oil if desired. Heat one to two cups of pineapple chunks for a few minutes until they have a bit of color on all sides. Then remove them from the pan and add a splash more oil, water, or broth. Add half a medium-sized red onion, diced, and cook for one to two minutes until softened and fragrant. Add one cup diced carrots, season with salt and pepper, and cook for three to five minutes until the carrots are softened. Meanwhile, whisk up the sauce. Three tablespoon tamari or soy sauce, three tablespoon peanut butter, half a tablespoon sesame oil, one teaspoon chili garlic sauce, two teaspoons lime juice, one tablespoon maple syrup, and a dash of water if needed to thin the dressing. Add one cup sliced green beans to the carrots and onion. Cook for one to two minutes until the beans turn bright green. Fluff up the quinoa and add it to the saute pan. Drizzle the sauce over top and mix to combine. Stir in the pineapple and remove from the heat. Garnish with chopped roasted peanuts and you're ready to serve. If this looks delicious to you, then hit that subscribe button and let us know in the comments. This recipe yields four servings and using frozen pineapple costs us around $8 Canadian or $2 per serving. The price of fresh pineapple does fluctuate more, but using half of my fresh pineapple today only added about 50 cents to our overall cost. And if you're like me, and every time you cut a pineapple, you wonder if there's anything you can do with this pineapple skin and core, then turn on those notifications and don't miss our next video because I'm going to show you how to turn these into a pineapple skin tea. It's refreshing, it's low waste, it's wonderful. I'll see you there.